the morning in the be well. Quite honest with you, I ain't really sleeping. What it do, boo? My name's Fatima. Welcome to Fatima's Journey. And this is the 12th installation of the College Prep Series. And this is going to wrap up the College Prep Series. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be done. OMG. <laughs> so let's get right into it. This is just 10 tips to, this is 10 tips for uh, applying to college, just the college application process in general, and you're supposed to be helpful. So let's get started. The first tip is to keep track of your deadlines. This applies to when your college application for whichever college is due, the final due deadline, the financial aid deadlines, um, sending in transcript deadlines, taking test deadlines. There are so many deadlines, your mind might explode but you need to keep track of all of these deadlines. And I found the best way to do this was if you have an iPhone or I'm thinking if you have an Android, it's the same way. You just go to the calendar, put in for an event, and at the bottom you can scroll and tell it to remind you of the event. And what I would do is for the first reminder, it would be a week before it was due. That way if it was like something that took a little bit more time, I would still have that week. And then the second reminder would be two days before in case I forgot again. So definitely do that it saved me so many times especially for scholarships it's great too so yep second reminder second tip is to ask for recommendations early in the year i'm talking about september like first week in september okay like first or second week whenever you go back to school because i know some people go back to school in august first or second week of school those first three weeks of school you need to ask for those recommendations because i know one teacher she got she only gives like eight recommendations a year or something like that and all of her slots filled up within like the first day of school like it is serious especially so go to teachers that you know are great at writing the english teachers are usually really good and just teachers that have known you well and you've had like a personal connection with them third tip would have to be put transcript requests in early because at my school you have to um turn in a paper requesting for your transcript to be sent to a certain school and you have to pay for the transcript to be sent which is at my school it's two dollars at your school it might be different at your school it might even be free so make sure you put those transcript requests in early though because sometimes guidance counselors may forget and that way you can see it on like common app and or on the um, school's portal website and you'll see if they got it or not that way if it's not because if you do it too close to the deadline then you're like oh they haven't gotten it yet and then your counselor says that they didn't even send it then it's even more drama and you just don't want to do with that do deal with that so make sure you turn everything in early um, my fourth tip would be to do the FAFSA and the CSS profile as soon as possible. When they come out, try and sit down and do it with your parents because you definitely want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. It will make everything a lot easier and especially if you're applying for financial aid, this is necessary. Um, fifth tip would be good communication with your parents when filling out financial aid documents, especially the CSS profile because usually if your parents have time, it's great if they can um, sit down with you because sometimes they usually they know like the w-2 form and tax return documents better than you do however if they don't have the time to sit down with you because they're working a lot then just make sure you have the forms and try and go through it slowly that's so but it's important to have good communication that way you can get the forms in the first place sixth tip for you is to never stop applying for scholarships okay just because graduation is coming up or you're out of school now and you're like oh or whatever no more school um don't stop applying for scholarships you need to continue applying because guess what scholarships don't stop coming out and they and there are deadlines in like june and july and august like all the way in september like you need to keep applying for scholarships throughout the summer because i think everybody could use more money unless you got a full ride course and you don't really need more money but you can always use more money and some people are asked like well, how do you ha send in your transcript if the thing's over the summer? Well, at my school, you can request this, um, your guidance counselor to give you transcripts. So I asked my guidance counselor for like eight transcripts, like extra transcripts for me for like scholarships that I'm applying for over the summer. I might even ask for some more. So that's a great way too, to ask for them um, like sealed ones before you leave and graduate and all that type of stuff. That's a good thing too. Um, another tip is first semester grades matter. Don't just blow off first semester. A lot of people get caught up in the college process. This is easy to do because there's a lot of stress going on. There's probably your school's homecoming if you participate in that. There's like, this is your senior year, you're trying to remember everything and just record everything down and all that type of stuff. 
and of course writing your college essays, but it is so important to remember to do your schoolwork and have strong first semester grades because you don't want to get into a school early action, early decision, and they revoke their acceptance because your first semester grades suck. Or on top of that, you don't want to apply to a school um, and then you they're going to accept you, obviously don't find it until March, but they're thinking, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna accept this person, and then they're like, oh, we can't accept you, accept you now, look at these grades, like they're horrible, you know? So, first semester grades matter, put in the work, and so do second, second semester grades, because obviously you wanna finish strong. So, all of your grades still do matter. Um, another tip is do not lie on your college essays. Like, this is a just, you automatically should automatically think, like, you should automatically think, why would I lie on my college essays? Yes, but there are people out there that lie and tell these sappy stories that aren't even true. So don't lie on your college essays. Not only could a college find out that it's not true, but you know, maybe it'll hurt your conscience. And when you, if you get accepted to that school, you'll be like, what if they only liked me because of my essay? And I lied on my essay. Don't be that person. Okay, don't be that person. Don't lie. I'm sure you have an amazing story. Okay, and just tell your story because only you can tell it. So don't tell what someone else's. Um, another tip is try to keep your stress down. You don't want to become too stressed out. Obviously, there will be those moments where you're like, oh my head, gosh, my head's about to explode. I'm going to die from all of this stress or from all of this stuff I have to do. Um, I can definitely understand that. I got like that a couple of times this year, but definitely exercising, taking a minute to just like, like center yourself and just think this is a small moment. This moment will pass. And think maybe of like your future, like a year from now, this won't even matter. Like, you know, things like that really help you to bring yourself back down and help lower your stress. And last tip is to enjoy your senior year as much as possible. Take lots of pictures. I'm actually gonna be doing a video called um, Senior Year Selfies. It's just gonna be a bunch of selfies. But yeah, it takes lots of pictures. Go to a football game once or twice. Um, go to spring sports games because a lot of people don't like soccer or something like that. Um, try to have fun, participate, um, even if you're not really into the school scene, maybe then hang out with your friends and stuff like that and do some fun things that if you're going to go to a school outside of your town that you'll still have, you'll have those memories because you would have done like that type of stuff. But anyways, and a bonus tip, bonus, a bonus tip is that you can get a waiver for practically anything during the college application process. You can get a waiver for SAT and ACTs, depending on your income status and different things like that, so look into that. You can get a waiver for how much it costs to send the CSS profile, look into that. You can get um, college application fee waiver, depending on your income as well. You may not have to pay to send your college, because some schools you have to pay to send your application. You may get a waiver for that. There are so many things you can get waivers for and you better take advantage of all of them because you might end up spending tons and tons of money on the college application process that is not necessary to spend. So those are my 10 plus bonus tip for you and I hope this whole series has been really, has been really helpful for you and has given you a lot of information. Um, the song that played in the beginning was Fighter by Gym Class Heroes featuring Ryan Tedder, I believe. It's gonna be at the end and the video is gonna be linked down below because I love the video, I love the song. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna be here on Saturday. Are you gonna be here on Saturday? If not, then boo bye. I wish you a good life.